I know, I know what you're thinking. It's been way too freaking long since I've had a shuffling tutorial on YouTube. I promise you this one is gonna be worth the wait because I get asked about this all the freaking time. And that is how to make your shuffling look smooth and effortless and almost as if you are gliding across the floor. Now this is something that I would say is a part of my own personal style. I really sort of love that floaty effortless look. And even though it may look easy, most of you guys probably know it's not. Let's just go ahead and jump right into the tips because I got a lot to share. I got a lot of input and advice for you guys. Let's get started. So tip number one is to not be stiff, okay? When you look stiff, you look tense, you look awkward, and it doesn't have that smooth, effortless sort of look. So what do I mean by don't be stiff? Now, that means don't lock your limbs. You know, you don't wanna be landing with two straight of limbs in your running man. You wanna land with your running man with like a nice bend in your knee. Keep it soft, right? Da, 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 da. When I land, I land soft so that I can easily jump right out of it rather than kind of landing stiff. Kind of looks a little bit jumpy, a little bit chaotic, okay? And stiffness doesn't just refer to your legs. I'm also talking about your upper body, your shoulders, everything. Like if your upper body is stiff and tight, no matter what you do with your lower body, your running man is not going to look smooth and effortless and easy because you yourself look tense. So before you go into shuffling, be sure to warm up and then stretch. So stretch after you warm up. Your warm up can be just like some slow shuffling, maybe some nice like leg circles. And then after you've warmed up a little bit, got your body moving, then maybe you go into some nice, deep stretches, some hold, you know, stretch out those hips, those hamstrings, those calves. Ooh, definitely those calves. And yeah, just get your body nice and loose, including your upper body. Stretch out your arms, you know, get some arm circles, whatever helps you to kind of not feel so stiff and like allows you to loosen up a little bit in your body. Now, the next thing is to stay light on your feet. A lot of people I see land really heavy and clunky on their feet. And you can see it kind of causing me to look like I'm bouncing up and down, right? Instead, I want you to focus on keeping the weight in the balls of your feet and just putting your pressure right there. So all of my weight is in the balls of my feet while keeping my feet flat on the ground, right? I'm not on my tippy toes, but my weight is in the balls of my feet, okay? You can kind of think about it as if you're jumping rope, right? When you're jumping rope, you're not jumping like this, right? You're just jumping high enough off the ground to get that rope underneath your feet. Okay, that's why you see a lot of ropers, jump jump ropers, jumpers, I don't know what you call them, doing shuffling nowadays because they kind of go hand in hand. They're very similar. So maybe try practicing jumping rope if you want a kind of good warm up or something to try to kind of help you with shuffling. What kind of goes along with this is tip number three, which is to slide more and hop less. As I was saying, some people land really heavy on their feet. When you're jumping high off the ground, you're never gonna look like you're floating, right? Because people can literally see that you're jumping, right? So instead, focus on trying to slide your foot a little bit more. Now, you're never gonna be able to 100% slide your foot, at least easily, especially when you're on really grippy surfaces. You just wanna hop high enough off the ground, as I was saying, to be able to slide your foot in. So it's a more of a hop and a slide rather than just a hop or a slide, okay? So the more you're able to slide that foot, the more you're gonna look like you are floating in place. <laughs> quick interruption of this video to bring you a quick announcement. Now, if you guys do not know, I have a website called The Shuffle Fault, which is your one-stop shop for all things shuffling. I have so many tutorials on there. It's kind of like a directory of shuffling and shaping moves. It's got choreos even, it's got combos, it's got a bunch of individual moves. We've got arm movements on there. I even have an eight-day beginner's course if you're brand new to shuffling. Tons and tons of videos, like I think 
90 plus videos. It's a monthly subscription and I will put the link to sign up down below. Now let's jump back into our tips. Tip number a quattro is to engage your core. Now, what the fuck does that mean, engage your core? I never fucking knew what that meant when people said it. I'm like, okay, so am I flexing? Like, am I flexing my core? Feeling my rock hard abs? No, that's not what you're doing. Because that's a lot of work. It really is more about, I think, like having awareness, being able to flex your core when you need to. And it's just really about maintaining a connection between your upper body and your lower body, okay? So your core is like your center, your torso, right? And if your upper body and lower body like aren't connected and aren't working as one unit, you can fall off balance or you can not be as stable and it can really cause your shuffling to not look as controlled as well. Take the running man for instance, without my core engaged and me just kind of keeping it loose and whatever, I don't even know what not engaged. Yeah, it just kind of looks like this is me not engaging my core, not really thinking about my upper body. Now this is me engaging my core. Now what engaging my core does is it just controls my upper body from bouncing all over the place. It just keeps it nice and tight. This is really important because that's what really gives the illusion when you're doing the running man that you're floating in place, right? It's as if just your lower body is doing the work, but your upper body is not doing anything, right? Like it's just staying in place essentially, right? So it's really important to keep that core engaged when you're shuffling, when you're doing the running man, if you want that floaty, effortless look. A good sort of drill that I like to think about is imagine that there's like a board, like a plank board right over your head. And when you're shuffling, you don't wanna keep hitting your head to that board. You want to try and maintain a level head as much as possible. The easiest way to do this would be to practice in a mirror, of course. But so imagine there's that board of your head and you don't wanna keep going hit, hit. You want to keep your head level. So like this, instead of going like, <laughs> and not really controlling it, I think controlled upper body and not hitting my head on that invisible board that doesn't exist. <laughs> now, your head is still gonna move some, right? We're still sort of like hopping. So don't worry about that. It's not gonna be completely perfect all the time, but the more you can kind of control that, the more it's gonna look like you're floating, right? Last tip kind of ties into our first tip, which is to keep your arms, your hands, and even your face relaxed, okay? If you have a really tense face, your shuffling is gonna look tense. If your hands are clenched, okay, when you're shuffling, does this look like I'm relaxed? Does this look effortless and floaty? No, it don't, it don't, okay? Everything ties in together. It's really about everything. So before you start shuffling, kind of shake out your limbs, shake out your shoulders, shake out those hands, and just keep them loose. You don't even need to think about too much right now in terms of what to do with them. Just keep them nice and relaxed. Controlled, but relaxed. Same with your face. Don't look down, keep your head up, and keep it relaxed. Doesn't even need to be like a big smile. Just keep it relaxed and natural. Sometimes when I'm shuffling, I still do like a stank face, you know, like especially when I'm really feeling the music, I'm like, mm, 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 mm. And that's fine. That serves a purpose, right? Just try to keep mindful of your face, right? Because it does contribute to the way that your shuffling looks. Try not to look down, look up, and just have a nice and relaxed hands, upper body, face, everything. Not just your lower body, right? Your upper body counts too. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Don't forget, if you wanna learn more shuffling, you can sign up for the Shuffle Vault. I'll put the link down below. And I appreciate your guys' patience as I kind of take a break from YouTube, but I promise I'm getting back into it. So stay tuned for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.